welcome to my lady cat crazy cat lady challenge now here are the rules real quick basically you want to get 100 cats you can have a child to take over the challenge if need to do so you cannot you have to be self-employed and you can't work anywhere else all cats have to have three traits such as hunter and non-destructive and other good quality traits and five just have fun so let me explain to you why i'm doing this challenge as you're seeing clips of me creating my character for the challenge and the cat mainly the cat but however i do want everyone to see the process of me creating and this is my first time playing sims 3 um well not technically first time but you know what i mean i had to play with it you know by myself to get used to everything but i did a challenge on uh, minecraft of a hundred bunny baby bunny challenge my minecraft for some reason doesn't want to work anymore so i don't know what else to do or to fix it and there's, I have a lot of mods on there that I I just can't, it, my computer won't re-download the updated version of mods or anything like that, it just won't download anything. But, however, it will let me download like CD games and stuff, I don't understand, I just need a whole new computer. But hopefully me doing this challenge where I know my, my computer will let me play it, will make up for the videos that I wanted to do so badly for Minecraft. And it's with cats. I love cats. Everyone knows I love cats. So, um, the person that I saw do this first, I to me was first, was Cinnamon. So, shout out to her. She's a good YouTuber. And hopefully you guys go and check her out and I'll leave her link into the description and tell her that I sent you if you see my if you see my video. Um and I really like how she did it. Um at first I kinda of made a comment, mean comment to her. I didn't mean it to be mean or anything like that. It was just kinda of confusing because like she will always move. So hopefully the house that I pick, I don't have to move a lot. Because I don't have to worry about like bringing up everything and like making sure all the stuff I bought and I want to keep is in my inventory before I move and the, you know all that it's just too much and perhaps for me but if you want to you go ahead and move them up um I don't have all the expansion packs um money is hard to come by for me right now um my mother actually got me the pets expansion pack from the store um I like to have the digital hard copy for the Sims 3 games um, just because it is an old game and um, if I go to a different computer and I can't get the game to go to that I can always just transfer all my files that I saved and just re-download the expansion pack before I start playing it but if not that's the case but um, so let me tell you about this character. This character is, her name is Sally Green. She has a little bit of a history. Her mother is from the city and her dad's from the country. However, they're not from this area. She actually moved here after she grew up and she got Midnight Green. Midnight Green um, was a stray cat and Sally was walking and she heard a faint meow from Sally's um, sore paw and she didn't know at the time and she picked her she looked around and she tried to make sure that she wasn't imagining things or anything like that so she went and looked and she saw midnight bright bluish tinted silver eyes and her her sore leg so she took her in she took care of her and 
Ever since, Midnight stayed with her and they became really good friends. So, therefore, Midnight is with Sally, so Sally and Midnight together. They move to this country field because it was too busy for the city for both of them. They weren't happy, they were they were miserable, and she just loves really she loves cats of all general and she just wants to take care of a lot of cats. So, um, there. That is the story I made up <laughs> for them. Um, hope you like it. <laughs> I'm not very good with stories. It's just straight and simple to the point. Um, and I know that my xblick.com uh, little symbol is right in front of everything. So, in the third video, because I already pre uh, recorded the second video, I will have that moved, hopefully, up in the corner because you know the little thing that pops up that says, yeah, I'll just move it on the side there. Um, it took me a while to make Midnight Midnight because it's my first time playing um, this game or this expansion pack, so I never, and I haven't got used to making animals and pets and stuff. So this is one of the challenges and series I want to do for my channel and it's been I've been so busy working for the holidays and just paying uh, paying bills and paying people back that I owed and I'm still doing so but I still want to create videos for you guys because it's been a very long time and I'm sorry about that. I know I'm not a constant upload YouTuber because I have to work all the time. And um, today I was just a little bit sick and I was a little bit bored, so I decided to edit a video. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so. This is the house that I want to move into. Um, it's nice and big. The big, it's big enough for at least two people and a bunch of cats. So, um, let's see here. Hmm. That area there would be perfect just to put all the cats in. I don't really need a vehicle. So let's go ahead and purchase it. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get ready to play. Loading, loading, ten loading, loading. Oh no, the house that you pur you've purchased has struck by a small meteor, and it seems to have some interior damage. Yeah. Um. Okay, so apparently our house has been hit with a meteor, so now we have to re- British. And fix up the house to our liking, which I probably will do in the second part. Um, so apparently... Our house has been destroyed, but our roof is still intact. Does that make sense in real life? <laughs> so let's go ahead and clean up, mop this up, and then clean that up. Let's see what she's doing. She's just chilling in the front lawn. Um, I really like how her fur and her texture came out. It took me a while to figure out how to do different textures and stuff, but I'm really glad that it did do that it was it's really nice that it came out the way I like will like it that bathroom oh my gosh is so hideous I can't wait to re to redo this house I'll learn some painting take uh, buy a pet yeah and you do that Take a class in painting skill? Don't you just learn how to... Okay. Um. Uh, no, 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 no. 
So I have like a little bit of a theme for her house idea in mind. Since how her mom is partly from the city and her dad's from the country, she'll make the inside look like a city and like more city-like modern version and then the outside country version. Um, so... Hmm. She's eating, playing in the toilet. Why? <laughs> Bad kitty. <laughs> no. Well, at least, I mean, you're not scratching up anything. So, I mean, well, there's not really anything to scratch up now, anyway. And I think I, I, I locked her from the... I locked her from the bedroom, so, yeah, I need to scold her from playing in the, to in the toilet, because that's a no-no. It's a big no-no. And we need to clean up all this rubble. Blah, 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 blah. I don't really pay attention to the um, I don't pay attention to that and I don't scolding her for playing in the toilet that's a no no don't do that bad kitty and I have to use the bathroom I believe no I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm picking up stuff. I didn't know there was one in there. So, I don't really know how I want to do the whole kitten thing. Let me pick that up. Because I know that it's hard to find stray cats or feral cats. Oh, well, now you want to come and help with the. Oh, Jesus. Do you want us to come and help clean up your house that, you know, got hit by a, a uh, meteor? Not that you're, you know, since how we figured you're playing with a fire, but no, it's a meteor, you fucking jackass. <laughs> but yeah, sure, help me clean it up because, I mean, it's not my fault meteor hit my shell. Uh, my shout. <laughs> I mean, you hit my house. Blah, blah, blah. And I got some neighbors that want to come and say hello. And one's got like the same kind of hair style with, as me, but without the banner. And I'm really upset that Sims 3 doesn't let you do different hairstyles for different outfits like Sims 4 does. I did not know that. Uh, I'm so upset. Because, <laughs> I mean, like, no one wears the same, I mean, some people do, but no one really wear, does the same hairstyle for events or sports or something like that. Like, some people do wear their hair down, Some a lot of people wear their hair up for sports. But, yeah. Let's go and say hello to our neighbors. Hello. I gave her kind of a like a slutty version uh cowgirl. I don't know why. I thought it, was, it just looked really cute to me in the game, not in real life, but like in the game it was just like it was a cute little outfit. <gasps> and I don't know how to install custom content for Sense 3. Even though some people would say in the comment, like, it's just the same way or as you do in Sims 4, but you do for Sims 3. Like, yeah, I've done that. I've done what a lot of people said to do. So, I don't know. But I am going to end it here. Um, as you can see, that it's already ended. But, um, go ahead and leave a like. And I'll see you for part two. Bye.